<laughs> Sometimes I just do stuff. What's up, everybody? This is Donovan Mitchell with the Utah Jazz. I'm about to give you guys a behind the scenes look at what happens on the floor on the breakdown. The way our team is set up, you know, you have a dynamic role in Rudy Gobert. You have Mike Conley, who's, you know, past first point guard who can also score. You got a bunch of shooters around us in Royce O'Neal, Boyan, Bogdanovich. So for myself, being the guy who can typically create off the dribble, uh, get guys shots, you know, off of a Rudy screen, get downhill, but also create shots for myself. I think it's the perfect fit with the group we have. Jimmy was on me to start, you know, and there was a screen set. I passed ahead to Mike, Rudy rolls. I'm trying to look at Rudy initially on the roll. You see it right there, nothing. So then we respace. And typically, there are a few teams that do this with Miami. You know, they're great at trapping, you know, and kind of helping each other. Uh, so Mike beats PJ, forcing Bam to help. My space, since I've become a good shooter from three, forces Bam to have to close out hard, which allows me to get downhill. I get by Bam. Now I'm at the rim. Once PJ leaves, I get by Duncan's reach. I don't see anybody, so I'm just going right up. Um, and Rudy being the lob threat he is, Jimmy's not gonna come over and help. That's why I have to lay. Seeing that I, I shoot 65% within five feet of the rim, you know, it shows that the work I've continuously put in over the summers of my finishing is really coming out and really showing throughout the season. And I've been putting the work in and to see it come to light, I think is, is pretty special, but there's definitely a uh, room to grow for sure. But once you see me get the ball in the middle of the floor, I kind of go to the left wing. I get here to kind of assess where Al Horford's at. You know, I'm not worried about Marcus Smart. Uh, because one-on-one -on -one from that far out is tough for even if you're a really good defender. Once I see Rudy coming, I say, okay, I'm gonna use the screen. Smart is good, so he beats me to the top. So I tried to pull it back. If you see the ball, I kind of lose it for a second. That's me trying to hit, snatch it back between my legs, but I lose it. So now I'm keeping my dribble alive. I don't know as Stroder until probably, I would say here. And then I'm like, all right, let me just find a way to just dribble it out. And then I saw the opening on the right side and Marcus's feet shift. All I needed was Smart's feet to shift. He jumps to his right, my left, and allows me to get downhill. And this goes back to my summer finishing, uh, just finishing over the top, finishing through contact. Sometimes my job is to make tough layups. Making the defense work and co continuously creating advantages is definitely what we pride ourselves on. We had played in Sacramento a few weeks prior and I had never played against Davion. Typically in the NBA, guys aren't as aggressive as he is. You know, he's strong, he's quick, he's fast. He's athletic in a sense, so he's able to keep up. Typically, with aggressive defenders, they want to beat you to the screen and beat you over it. So understanding that, I give him the jab with my left foot to loosen him a little bit to see what he's going to do. And with that, with that jab, if you look at his right foot, his right foot goes to a point where he tries to stop me from going that way and then he tries to beat me to the spot, which allows me to counter it and, and get into a one-two for my shot. There's three different ways to shoot a pull-up. Left, right, right, left, or hop. And this one's just left, right. With my pull-ups being at 3.6 made per game, footwork is huge, your base, uh, weightlifting, you know, getting your legs strong so you can shoot from different distances. In this clip in particular, being able to counter it and still get to my proper footwork, I think it's just the biggest thing I work on each summer. Once I get to the spin, as long as I get to that right there, that's the same thing as walking into it doing left, right. So when I do a drill, it's dribble, left, right, dribble, left, right. And you shoot that same shot over and over again. So it doesn't matter how you get to that, the footwork is gonna always be the same. With me averaging 2.8 driving kicks to a three point attempt per game, I draw so much attention on my drives that now you have 40%, 40%, 40%. It's just a matter of who shoots it. People wanna stay with Rudy and then it opens up shots for everybody else and allows, allows us to kind of you know, get into our, what we call jazz basketball, moving the ball. I prefer the double team because we have such good shooting. You know, it's like, all right, go ahead, take me out to play. We're gonna either get a three or one of our bigs at the rim uh, for a dunk. Being able to have guys who shoot 40% and then have Rudy rolling the way it does, it's really just a matter of pick your poison and executing. Rudy does a great job by flashing. He makes a move, they help. He hits Trent. So now I know I have six seconds. Um, if Ant is one step slower, I'm shooting this, but he runs me off the line doing his job because um, I'd hit a few threes already in the first quarter. And now it's like, okay, what do you want me to do? Patrick Beverly would stay there, but it's his missed assignment if JC gets a three. So you but you pass fake to get him out the equation. Now Nathan Knight, not gonna help because it's an easy Rudy lob. So now it's a matter of who's gonna help. Either I have a layup, which they don't want me to get, 
or I have a, uh, a three. Noel helps, so now Rudy's respacing to the corner, um, knowing that he's in the corner, and I know if I can get it there, he's gonna be able to take that shot. The NBA court optics allows you to get a different perspective of the game, you know, allows you to understand, you know, you have the physical game where you play, but then you also have the numbers that, you know, go along to it. I think it's great that fans have an access to it now, and it's only gonna continue to build and get more uh, and get better and better. Appreciate you watching The Breakdown with me. Shout out to Bleacher Report and NBA Court Optics.